That is so weird. I have never in all my career of hairdressing never seen this. What is up my beautiful babes? How are you guys doing today? So I'm back again for another installment of this week's craziest viral hair videos. I got some good ones lined up. So, you know, that's all I got to say. I mean, you guys know what the deal is with my videos. You've seen these things before. Hairdresser reacts. We're gonna start it. Let's do this. Yeah, that's all I got to say. Let's get it started. Okay, so we're gonna start off this video by C&D Journey and it's called How Weave Has Severely Damaged My Hair. This video looks pretty crazy. You guys send it to me a few times. I skimmed through it a little bit and I'm like, whoa. Like, get ready for this. It's like kind of sad, but like, whoa, at the same time, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> all right, let's watch this. Let's press play on this. Ah! I have not seen that part. So, as you can see, I have no hair on my head. Um, She's I'm so pretty though. Snatch. Hair. That face is snatched. Three days ago because I really, really needed Brows on fleek. If you're interested okay. in knowing why, then stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Also turn on post notifications down below so you can be notified. Okay. I went natural about four or five years ago and I did the set same thing with my head. I cut a skin bald and it actually did grow back really healthy, really curly, and really full. Only thing is, okay. I got kind of careless with my natural hair and I let a family member. I could never me. shave so my head bald. That being said, I had actually let her give me leave out also. And then the weed that I had was red, so they had to dye my leave out red. So I ended up getting heat damage and I was oh, that's like, a okay, lot. like, it's not that bad. I can just cut it off as time goes. But then I got another sewing. These are so dumb decisions, I know. <laughs> I got another sewing and I let a girl that was not very, she didn't really know how to do sewing She's properly. Trying to be so nice about it, I love and it. And I'm not making this video to bash her or bash uh, Good for you, girl. Really, I'm just, no bashing. my experience. So I let her give me a sewing and she braided my head entirely way too tight. And so um, over time, I don't I ever want to sew in scabs and my head actually started bleeding. So um, once I took what? the sewing out, uh, clumps of hair was like coming out of my head. What? Oh my God. And I actually did contact her and let her know like, that's like, horrible. This poor thing. Was, you left your sewing in for too long. I'm like, no, you braided it too tight. But that's you know, so want crazy. To do what wrong. Could and you imagine? Salon, I, could you imagine your head being braided that tight? That oh, I. I really that's didn't. Uh, petrifying. Take things further and sue her. I just felt as if like his hair it will grow back, right? So like, over time, I realized that the perimeters of my head was a whole lot, of my hair was a whole lot longer than the middle section. So recently, I had actually got a wig, and um, as I was putting on my new wig, I had shampoo and conditioner my real hair. And I realized, like, I still was realizing that the part that was heat damaged, it was still straight, and it was just, my hair was just This is a mess. <laughs> this poor girl. Go. And so I had of straightness here it was some straight pieces in my head because i was straightening my hair and also oh, my hair, the middle part was still very short than the rest so i made the decision to go ahead and just cut it all off this time i will take care of it's it probably a good idea though the way i need to take care of it during the process of me cutting off my hair i actually felt the the vision in my head and i was like hmm. But I didn't even know that that scar was just there. And so uh, my girlfriend, she had told me, she was like, you know, I'm going to take a picture of the back of your head so you can see what's going on. So I look at the picture, which I'm going to answer clips and videos in um, this video so you all can see what I saw. And I was like, oh my God. Oh. Oh. But anyways, I look at it and I'm just like, what? well, this is what my life has come to, you know, like. Because it was so much in? I can, like, do now. I just that is so crazy. Forward from here on out and take care of my head. I can't really what? dwell on her or be depressed. 
depressed about what? it. And it is what it is. So I actually looked up the um I looked it up on Google and tried to research what exactly happened to my head and I came across severe um scalp damage. And that typically Shoot. happens when the braids of your head is way too tight and your pores collide into one huge pore and um, multiple uh, hair starts to grow out of one big no. pore and get stuck because as you know that your is hair has so one scary pore for each hair follicle so um i have one huge pore um there's a bunch of hair follicles trying to grow out Girl. of one pore and that's why the middle of my head was a whole lot shorter than the rest of my head because the hair was like didn't have room to grow so, um, I'm actually going to look at that. <laughs> Hold on. No. Did you see that yet? I can not even shave that out. That is so weird. Like I have never in, in all my hurts. career of hairdressing so never seen this. Fascinating. Oh, my God. Um, you have to braid the head so this tight. Is this is bad. For that Shout to happen, you still look good, mama. <laughs> <laughs> still good, mama. Oh, yeah, she does. Is, um, we have been here on skin. I really was kind of skeptical to make this video, but then again, it's like I have a nice face, so <laughs> I really can really love her. the hairstyle that comes along my way. And I, I love her. Okay, well, at least she had a good outlook on the whole situation, um, and she's beautiful still, obviously, without hair. But wow, I cannot. I would be so much more upset probably. That's so scary. It's just like weird. Like I've never seen that before. Okay, let's move on to the next video. Uh, I'm still not over that, but okay. <laughs> now a more tame video. You guys have sent this to me many times. This video is by Don't Be a Sad Panda. <laughs> okay, I will not be a sad panda. Um, it's dying my hair pink. I ruined it and cried. Great. <laughs> And apparently she mentions me a lot in this video. We're gonna watch it. Deidre killing as in killing myself for doing this. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Hi. Adria. Welcome back to my dead channel for today's video. My dead I channel. am going oh my to be God, dying stop. my hair pink, not clickbait. Everybody got mad saying it was clickbait. First of all, I don't think that that was clickbait. It was an experiment. This is a science channel. I'm Vsauce Michael here. If you're gonna dye your hair, first of all, do not buy this pink. It is not the color of the box. It's more like a strawberry, raspberry, some kind of berry. I debated bleaching my roots again. I just don't want to. Bleaching is so much work. It's oh, time, it's money. It's it takes me like three hours sucks. to do it. I don't want to do it again. I, I so hate it too. Your I girl you. got some professional things this time. Brian Mondo yes. So this is the Arctic <laughs> Mondo who? Arctic Mist Diluter. Oh, and then this is the Arctic Fox Virgin Pink Semi Permanent Hair Color. Just realized I don't have gloves. Um, yeah. Also, today's video oh is brought God. to you by the lovely people Can over on my Patreon. Hands. I have one of them people just make videos on YouTube and set up their hair and it gets a ton of views and you're just like... <laughs> I'm just doing this for fun. People <laughs> criticize or you my can hair just all the time. Go to school, judge the people that are messing up their hair in the videos, and still get a ton of views. <laughs> you know, it's my hair. I don't know why other people care so much about my hair, but thank you. I say as I mean, I are happy with your hair. That's don't really, really care that matters. Much. I see videos of girls messing up their hair all the time, and they're just positive about it. They don't really care. It's just like you can't really girl. mess up your hair that it's bad. The Dude, with it's pink just hair. It's just semi permanent hair. So color. If I hate my pink hair, guess what? It's just hair. Ooh, I'm literally about to be Wanda. Except she, she cried. Though, like, <laughs> at the end of this, apparently, from the title. So apparently, she does care. Something that's dark. Mom, okay, you don't be a sad panda. <laughs> I'm scared. I. It's just hair. It's just hair. It's just hair. Why is it not getting any lighter? Oh, girl. The more I'm putting on, wow, the more I'm like so dark. quaking. Is this gonna waking. be waking? <laughs> I don't know. Can you imagine if I just left it like that? Like, all right, I'm done. It's a look. Why do I feel like I'm ruining my hair? Why do I feel you like are. I'm just gonna end up cutting off all my hair? I wanted not this. I look like I should be at a Zoomies couch store. I went to one of those once and I was like, I don't really get what or I'm what? supposed to be doing right now, but watch. Ruin her life. Watch Adrian and try to be a girl. So I tried to put on. I love pink hair though. It's like my favorite. I was using acne cream. So if I can't even do that, no. how am I supposed to do 
my hair. I mean, people are like, just go to a salon and do this. I don't think people get that I just do this for fun. I take pleasure in just ruining my hair and my oh, life. Oh, good. Like, I just buzz my <laughs> hair off, girl. That's a lot. Be a fail. No, this is just going to be a, a hair dye video. There's not going to be any sort of failure in this whatsoever. I don't know why I thought that. Why did I ever <laughs> think I could do something right? Positive self-talk. I have a man that loves me, so that's all that matters. There Thank you go. God, because there'd be no way I could ever find one now. See, you get a man to love you, and then you do crap like this, because then That's it's, it's exactly my plan. Me. Except, not really, because I'm already doing so crazy stuff without a man. I didn't have literally five heads of I hair don't need a man, head. okay? Uh, uh, can we even see what's going on right now? I wasn't scared to do this, but now I am. I'm having second thoughts. I'm like a little nervous for her. I mean, she definitely missed a lot of spots. Um, All right, I'm taking off my engagement. Right and yeah, she's just gonna be wearing gloves. This video, but she's gonna be stained forever. All right, let's see how it comes out. Oh my gosh. It's a look. That is so dark. I'm into dude. it. Brush my teeth and when I look in the mirror, it's gonna be, it's not gonna be pretty. So this is the finished <laughs> oh. hair. I'll be honest, I don't really like I, it. I'm kind of sad. I don't know. No, it's I mean, okay. I, I kind of just look like lava girl. <laughs> What's wrong with that? I just Kill spit me. everywhere. It's fuchsia. It's pink. It's purple. It's, it's not what I wanted. I mean, it's I definitely purple. It like this. Uh, um, I wanted to be kind of cute though. God, so bad. I kind of just want to cut all my hair off. I don't like it on me. I mean, luckily it's semi-permanent. It'll fade. Wanted to look like Jigglypuff. I don't know. <laughs> now I'm embarrassed. <laughs> she doesn't even. She didn't even look that bad. Like, girl, come on. You. I. But I get it. Cause whenever I do my hair pink. I'm like, what did I just do? I'm having an identity crisis. Like, oh my God, I need blonde hair again. Like blonde hair is just such an addiction. You can't get over. That's it for YouTube videos. But now I have like a couple of really short Instagram videos to show you guys. Instagram got, got kind of crazy this week and I just, there's so many weird hair videos. Like really just weird, really, really weird. You'll see. So let's do that. Okay, so this one was just like the strangest hair coloring process I think I've ever seen. What? What is going on? That is so not necessary. I get, I'm, what? That looks like so much work. I'm all about doing less work and yeah, just doing less work. <laughs> I don't know where I... I was heading with that, but just less work is great for me. Oh my god, I wonder what this is gonna look like. I don't think I've even I don't think I've seen the end of this. What? Um Yeah. Not very cute. Um <laughs> I'm sorry. This is tragic. Imagine when she doesn't have it styled or anything. People just think she like dumped a bunch of box dye in her head and like missed a bunch of spots. <laughs> like it's just tragic. Oh, it's the problem with these like crazy fashion colors that like hairstylists do on people. It's like, if you don't have your hair styled perfectly, you're gonna look crazy. You're gonna look like absolutely insane. And I don't, okay, whatever. All right, last one for today's video. This one was probably the weirdest. Of them all, I don't even know if you can consider this like a real hair video. So, basically, <laughs> he's outside in a snowstorm putting snow on this girl's hair in between foils. Because why not, right? It's supposed to be like cute and like, like a joke. <laughs> But you guys were like, why is he, you guys DM'd me this so many times, like why is he putting snow on her hair? And I'm like, I have no idea. And then her hair magically turns into a blonde balayage goddess. Um, I, I don't know. I think it's supposed to be like a joke. <laughs> but like, I'm kind of lost. And this has 1.6 million views. So apparently a lot of people understood the joke, but not me. Why don't we just watch that beginning section over one more time? <laughs> what is happening? Why is there snow? <laughs> Also, what? this girl, poor girl, she's like, what? I'd be like, what is going on? I hope she like works with him or something. Like, I hope this isn't a client. But apparently you guys, this is the stuff that gets the views. <laughs> Putting snow in foils. That's where what we've come to, um, to get people's attention. 
All right, well, let's start snow foiling people's hair. Well, we definitely saw many crazy videos today. I think, I mean, I just, I can't get over that first video of the girl who got that weave. Oh my God, I'd be mortified, that poor girl. I hope her hair grew back. That is traumatic, like, no thank you. I am not getting a weave anytime soon. <laughs> and if you have a weave, make sure that thing is not too tight because you don't want that happening to you. Nope. <laughs> No, you don't. And today's Instagram shout out goes to Natalie. This is her Instagram name and this is what she looks like. She says, hi Brad, my name is Natalie and I've been wanting to dye my hair for a very long time. I just don't know what and would like to have some advice. I don't know what that sentence is, but <laughs> I've been thinking about like a darkish red, but I don't know. I love you, Brad. I love you, Natalie. I'm looking at your picture here. So, I mean, your skin looks more on like the neutral warm side. So yeah, I mean, for sure, red would look snatched on you. I mean, yeah. Like I'm thinking kind of like a vibrant red though. like. Girl, if you're gonna do red, you might as well go big or go home, you know what I mean? Um, or like a very bright, like auburn, dark brown red sort of feeling, you know what I mean? I feel like that would just look amazing on you and complement your skin tone very well. So if you end up doing that, Natalie, I would love to see it. Definitely send me a picture on Instagram. And if you guys aren't following me on Instagram already, definitely give it a follow at BradMondoNYC and Twitter and all that stuff. Um, also, gotta mention the merch. Check out my merchandise at fanjoy.co slash Brad. What else do I have to say? Um, I think that's it. So <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching today. Don't forget to live your extra life and I will see you all next time. Peace.